Hi, I'm Michelle from Teacher Time with Michelle Mybell. Today I wanted to share with you a great calming activity called tapping. I don't know if you've heard of this. It works wonders. Um, you can do this with your, for yourself to relieve stress and, you know, calm your mind, be in a mindful place. You also can do it with children and especially with children in their busy lives and needing to calm their bodies. This is a great activity. I've done it with the children in my class. They love it. Um, I've kind of incorporated accounting with it. I'm going to show you how it's done. Um, with my kiddos, we count till five in the spots. And what tapping is, it's an EFT um, activity, which stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. And it helps even with saying words with it. It helps in their subconscious about positive aff affirmations. Um, I've tried this with my children in my class. We've talked about um, different feelings, um, what makes them sad, what makes them mad. And they've told me scenarios. And then um, we do this and they really seem to be accepting and have fun with it and relax. And I think it's almost like you can regroup the children too to get ready to go to a next transition. It's a good transition activity for teachers. I've done it in a big group. Um, I've done it one-on-one. -on -one. You can if a child's having some difficulties and they want, you know, they need to just calm and take, you know, you take deep breaths, which is always good. It's good to do with this. That's a part of it. Um, so what it is actually is it's using the, the acupunctural points that you do in acupuncture. It's the same, some same um, points that they use for acupuncture, except you're not having the needles. Hallelujah. <laughs> so there's no hurt. There's no harm. There's no side effects to this. It's free. It's so easy. Um, with adults, I've done, when I tried this, um, they ask you to think of a scenario. It might be something you're worrying about, um, you score, put yourself at a score, 10 being the highest of how you're feeling at that moment when you, before you start, then you do the EFT techniques and then you score yourself after and see how much better you feel. And believe me, it's amazing how much better you feel. That's why I'm sharing it with you. And that's why I shared it with the kids in my class. Um, Hey, you know, it's tough sometimes. Teachers can feel stressed. Oh, there's my cat. <laughs> I wonder if she's going to practice. Hi, Lucy. You can see her tail. Um, but teachers can, um, you know, it's good for teachers to practice this. Um, it's good self-care, uh, which is really needed. I know teachers have a lot on their plate. Um, and especially the children, too. They just need sometimes a time to calm their bodies. And... You know, and sometimes they have big feelings going on, and it's a good way to work through it and, you know, just calm and feel better about themselves, and it's going to help all around. So I encourage you to try it, and feel free if you have any questions to please um, comment and ask me. Uh, so I'm going to show you the, the points, um, and what's not included that I like to do with my kiddos is butterfly afterwards they like to do this and that's a good um, activity when you're in transition too but um, the points are this is kind of the karate chop point but you're using two fingers all the time and you're tapping um, so what I do with my kids is I count to five because it's just easier and it helps them um, one two three four five um, so you start there then you start on your eyebrows. One, two, three, four, five. This is what I do with the kids, but you don't have to count. You can just tap. Then you do here on this side, the bone. You tap here. You tap on the side. Then you tap under your eye where the bone is. Then you tap under your nose. And I always tell the kids not touch your nose, but under above your lip 
And then you're gonna tap here, and then dention not your chin, but under and between your lip and your chin, like that. And then you're gonna find your collarbone. Tap on your collarbone with either both hands, or my kids like to do both hands, or you can do one side. And then you tap under on your side. For women, there's that tender spot where your bra strap is, that area, that's where you're gonna tap. Put your space down here, so you tap there. And then you're gonna tap on top of your head. Not hard. <laughs> okay. And what you can do is, when I talk to the children about their feelings, I've had kids say, um, it makes them sad, you know, if somebody knocks their blocks down or they don't wanna be their friend. So you can incorporate that, um, you know, uh, let's see, I feel sad when my friend doesn't share with me or my friend knocks down my blocks. But I know I have many friends and you turn it around positive. I like school. It's okay to be sad sometimes. So you get the idea, right? Okay. So I wanted to introduce my puppet, Carmelita. She is gonna start doing, the kids love Carmelita at school. So um, when I was researching, it says that you can teach the children on a stuffed animal, you know, where the points are. So this is Carmelita. Hi! <laughs> Carmelita Macchiato, right? Si, si. Okay, Carmelita. So let's show everybody where the points are, okay? For the kids out there. Okay, so Carmelita would have eyebrows <laughs> right over her eye. Tap, 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 tap. How does that feel, Carmelita? Good, it feels good. Take a deep breath, Carmelita. <sighs> okay, then you do the side, Carmelita. Here you go, one, two, three, four, five. Under your eye, one, two, three, four, Five, under your nose. <laughs> she has a big nose, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, under your mouth. Oh, the tickles. One, two, three, four, five. And your collarbone. One, two, three, four, five. And your side. One, oh, it tickles, ah, it tickles. One, two, three, four, five. And then top of your head, Carmelita. One, two, three, four, five. How about in Spanish, Carmelita? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. <gasps> Bravo, yay! How do you feel now, Carmelita? Do you feel better? Yes, I'm so, so happy. Okay, Carmelita. Thank you for sharing and showing everybody about tapping. I know the kids will love that. Bye! Okay. I have Lucy the kitty watching too. So I hope this was helpful helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And get to tapping. Give it a try. It's great for many ailments. You know, just reducing stress, um, anxiety, depression, um, PTSD, people that suffer from that. It's just a great benefit to add to your daily life. Okay, so that's all for now. Have a great day. Bye.